Hey guys, it's Phone Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to open up a box of 2010 2011 Zenith from Panini. You see, we have PK Subban on the box. We also have in our rookie class Tyler Sagan. Five cards per pack, 10 packs per box. Uh, so, what do we get? A huge rookie class. Uh, beyond that, we see our verbiage on the box. We should get three autos and memorabilia cards, one Zenith rookie card, four short print legends, a Dare to Terror box topper, which is sort of a large card that uh, has a card within it, one red parallel, um, one gifted grinder, and one crease is the word. So, that's basically the lowdown. Uh, what else do we need to know? Uh, pretty much. It's a good rookie class. It would happen to be Tyler Sagan's rookie class, Taylor Hall's rookie class, Jeff Skinner, P.K. Subban, Nazem Kadri, Nino Nino Ryder, and a bunch of other people with great hockey names. Nino Nino Ryder. So let's see what we get within our box here. Uh, should be interesting. It's nice packaging, actually, for Panini. Panini, which is typically low-end and mediocrity. And then we see here our checklist. So you see our rookies, our rookie class there, if you sort of hone in and zoom in on that. Uh, we also see that we have legend inserts and we have behind the bench autographs. So we also have potentially Barry Trotz and Alain Vigneault, uh, etc. So chasing the cup. So you see it's pretty good, uh, nice little checklist that is smeared over the top here. So let's see what we get. So this I would gather would be our box topper. Um, I think I'll go to that last, and here we have all our packages. Let's take them out if we can, and should be 10 of these bad boys. Theoretically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. correct. And let's get crackling. So Bobrovsky was also within this rookie class, as was Thomas Tatar, now of your Montreal Canadiens. So all kinds of goodies, theoretically. Uh, here's Carey Price, so the, it's very sort of papery, watery, liquid papery uh, cards. N nonetheless, um, you know, it's typical Panini standard stuff. And here's Dale Howarchuk, so that would be one of the legends, I, I gather. Uh, the checklist, I think the base checklist, including the legends, is, goes up to 140, and above that you get your rookies. And this would be base, and this would be Nick Heavy Blue Link base. So these would be base, this would be base, but it would be a base legend, I gather. All right. Let's see what else we can steamroll through. There's Johnny T, Nick Lidstrom. Eric Lindros, so he would be a legend. Another one of these spacers. There's Marty St. Louis, as well as Marion Gabrick. So these would all be base. Nice, all right. Hopefully saving, saving the best for last. Oh, these wrappers are shredifying on me. Okay, we have Sid the Kid, Patrick Kane, Tiger Williams, another legend, legend in penalty minutes, Johnny T, and Joe Thornton. A lot of bays. Let's see what else we got here. Still be looking for a rookie. Here we have some inserts. So here's Milan Lucic. And we have this mosaic card. Uh, it might be considered one of the red parallels. And here we go. So I believe this would be one of our hot reds or whatever the nomenclature is. As well as this one here, which is a, I guess it's one of the mosaic cards. Yeah. And it would be of the wild. So we have, who do we have? Can you see who that is? It's Backstrom, Clutterbuck, and Mika Koivu. The younger brother of Saku Koivu. We are guaranteed um, a couple of memorabilia and autos, so let's see. Andrew Ladd, Brad Richards, and here's Nick Fotu, who would be a legend. He was an old school bruiser. So he was a battler and a bruiser back in the day. 
the haymakers through. Yeah, so he was an enforcer as well. Oh, cool. So here is our first mosaic uh, relic. And it has Nazem Kadri, Phil Kessel, and Jonas Gustafsson. So that's nice, nice maple leaf one right there. Cool. Okay. And that would be 18 of the relic mosaics. Jason Palmenville. Okay. Continuing on. So the price point for these, I think they've dipped to $25 US, uh, which I deem an appropriate uh, price point for Panini products because Panini is pretty low end stuff. And here we have this would be one of these Zed rookie calls. So it's oh, we got OEL. So this is a rookie roll call. So this is a rookie card. It's OEL's rookie card. That's a nice one. It's a known quantity who's done fairly well. And he should do actually much better this year because I think uh, I think Arizona will do a lot better this year. I think uh, Anti Rata is playing much better, played much better by the end of the season. Uh, and there's a lot of young talent. This feels a bit thicker. I'll go for this one first. So OEL, I mean, he always is fairly decent, but the plus minus last year was really disturbingly bad, and that was mostly just because that team allowed a lot of goals. And here's Creases the Word, and we have Tim Thomas, who would, uh, in fact, win the Stanley Cup. And this would be a Winter Warriors behind here. So this is in another jersey, and it would be a Winter Warriors of Michael Delzato, who is a very known quantity as well here in New York City. That's kind of cool. Michael Delzato. Very nice. So we definitely, we're definitely getting all kinds of goodies at this point. So, I'm trying to wait these out. Hmm. Let's see if we get ourselves, if we receive an auto. That would be nice. Continuing on, we have James Wisniewski, Matthew Lombardi. We have this one of Mario. So this Mario would be a legend. Another spacer. We've got the Kipper, as well as Evgeny Malkin. And two more packs. Looking for, to spike an auto. You see Jokinen. Mikhail Grabowski, who also played with the Habs. Staylock. Uh, this would be a rookie card, actually, of Staylock, I believe, with the RC on it. So I'll put that aside. And base base. So let's see. Let's see. Did I miss a rookie here? So I got the Staylock. Was there were there any other rookies in here? I noticed that they're just annotated at the top there. Apparently not. I think all of these cats here would be base. So we got one more pack left. Let's see what it is. Looking to hopefully spike an auto. Let's see. Mike Richards. Oh, here's our auto. I don't know if you saw it. You might have seen it. Oh, we got a gifted grinder here. And that would be Ryan Malone. Okay, so that's another insert for the insert dump. And we have this one here of Clark MacArthur, who the Leafs got rid of for some reason, unknown reason. Nick Backstrom, Mike Richards, and the auto would be, oh, it's a behind the bench. Barry Trot, speak of the devil. Did I not call that? I said we'd get a Barry Trotz, didn't I? Well, that's nice. That's kind of cool. That's a cool rare auto to get. Barry Trotz. Awesome. Very cool. I like that. So we have one more piece of business before I do the uh, recap, and that would be to open up the box topper. So theoretically, there's a card within this thing. This is a massive card, and the massive card would happen to be of... Jeremy Roenick. Now, 
I should be able to, I'm banging it against the table to, to ensure that the card falls to the bottom. There's a card within here, so I have to somehow cut, cut this thing without wrecking the card within here. And I'm not really sure how to do that. I'm going to continue trying to cut this bad boy, cut this sucker open. I think what I really need to do is tear it. Ah, finally, okay. There we is. And what is it? It's a Thomas Tatar. Oh, that's cool. As a Habs fan, nice to get the Thomas Tatar. So this is a Thomas Tatar rookie card, which is perfect for a Montreal Canadiens fan who is about to embark on a fandom of Tatar as he just joined the, the team. So that's awesome. Okay, so let's do a, a recap of what we got here uh, as best I can. Interesting stuff per usual. So so five, five cards per pack, 10 cards per means that we got 50 cards total. So we got a big stackage of basage. Um, nothing completely confusing about that. So this would be our stack of base. Uh, only 140 cards in the base base set, so uh, not that difficult to build that one out. Now these would happen to be legends, we're guaranteed some legends, I thought we were guaranteed four legends, we happen to get five. We've got Mario, we've got Nick Fotu and Tiger Williams who are bruisers, we've got Eric Lindros, as well as Dale Howardchuck, the legend himself. Uh, he deserved a Stanley Cup like Stevie Y, but he didn't quite get one. What else did we get? Uh, with regard to our mosaic cards. Uh, we have one base mosaic card, which would happen to be of the wild, and then we have this mosaic card of the Leafs, really pretty, of Nazem Kadri, Phil Kessel, and Gustafsson, and it's a relic. So that's kind of groovy. What else did we get? In terms of our kind of generic uh, inserts, we got one of these gifted grinders cards, as well as a crease is the word card, which is also has that sort of mosaic technology, whatever they call it, um, which is not too, which is actually pretty prevalent in Finney. And then we had rookies in terms, oh, we had this other one, which is a red hot parallel, I believe they call this thing. So that's a parallel of Jimmy Howard. And we had rookie roll calls. So we had two separate rookies or three separate rookies, and I'll go through them. We've got the base rookie of Alex Daylock, who's a backup goalie. Uh, we also got the Thomas Tatar in the box topper, as well as the OEL rookie. Rookie roll call of OEL. So that's not bad. All pretty decent rookies. Not the top, top, top tier ones, but pretty top-ish nonetheless. We had this winter warrior of our cat here in, in New York, Michael Del Zotto. And finally, our auto, cool little auto here, we got Barry Trotz, who uh, is now a Stanley Cup winning uh, a cat, is he not? Um, pretty, uh, pretty excited about that. And this card is numbered to 40 of 199. And I'm curious whether the other ones were numbered at all. Maybe I might have missed that. That happens on occasion. Nope. Pretty cool. Pretty groovy. So that's basically it, guys. A pretty decent, uh, pretty decent uh, haul of cards for twenty-five dollars. So I would happen to be a guy named Fulton Carsla, live and direct in a place called Brooklyn, New York.